If you want to win some free PSN or Xbox gift cards, all you got to do is be subscribed to my channel, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to turn on notifications. Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. In today's video, we're going to talk about sort of a unique class and gun setup, which is sort of not very glorified in Black Ops 3, but a gun that's really underrated and can go from underrated to super, super overpowered if you use this gun correctly and with this setup. So this gun is of course you know the shiva and semi-automatic guns are not the most glorified but i'm gonna give some tips and all that stuff in today's video 2000 likes is the goal smack that like button guys let's go for 2000 likes i'd really appreciate it. if we could hit that that would be absolutely amazing of course subscribe to the channel if you guys are new as well and let's get right into this now the shiva is a gun that is very well known for hardcore mode because of its ability to get headshots or not even headshots just to get one shot kills in hardcore however the shiva is a gun that much like the fal from b too, if it's put in like a pro player's hands or a very good player's hands, this gun can be absolutely insane. Now it does have a cap on the fire rate, but you can still effectively use this and something that not everyone knows, most people do know, but you know, the basis of what this video is going to be about is the fact that the Shiva with high caliber is able to get one shot headshots in core mode. And that's what makes this gun absolutely amazing. Now for the gameplay, you're going to see me using a similar class setup. This is more of an older gameplay, the first gameplay you see here and the second one I'm just destroying kids with the Shiva on combine but basically how I combine this is with high caliber it's a one shot to the head with the Shiva now me myself I'm not the most accurate at the pinpoint marksman I'm more of like an SMG Russian player however I throw on high caliber and I do get those one shot headshots of course I don't get as many as I should throughout the gameplay I only get like a couple but the reason for this class setup is if you are someone that plays head glitches play strong this class setup can do absolute wonders for you you can get those headshots and even without headshots normally this thing will be a two shot to the body at medium range so it's probably you know a little bit less strong than the m8 simply because the m8's fire rate and ability to burst people down but that headshot uh, adds a little extra side note onto it now let's talk about the class up here you guys may notice i am playing with overkill now this is a gun that you do actually want to play with overkill for this setup now the rk5 is a very good secondary and some people are going to say why the hell would you use overkill when you have the RK5 as a secondary or you have the LKAR 9 or stuff like that. Those guns are great. They're not official SMGs. They, I mean, that everyone can agree the RK5 cannot compete with a VMP. Or, you know, of course, you know, the, it can compete at close range, but at longer ranges. I'm talking about a more, uh, you know, more utility one that is better overall. So what I run here is with this overkill, I have a class up that basically has Shiva for the long to medium range. And when I get up close or I get in those situations where, of course, the Shiva is going to suck, I'm going to have fast hands on. I'm going to quickly swap to my other weapon and spray people down. It's sort of a best of both worlds class up. So let's talk about it. What we have here is the Shiva with two attacks and a site so three attachments kind of I use the elo site per preferably I think this is one where do not use the default scope the default scope on this thing it absolutely sucks in my opinion I'm sure there's some people out there might that might like it I think it looks like a butthole it absolutely sucks it it's a terrible iron sight and it's very hard to use and that's why I think you need to run either the red dot site the reflex site or the elo site preferably for me is the elo site because there's no top on it makes it a lot easier to see your targets at a distance and to, to pinpoint that ELO dot right on their head for those one-shot headshots. As far as my other attachments, of course, you guys can guess the first one, high caliber. That's, you know, the basis of this being able to be a one-shot machine, high caliber, and that's why I would run that. And as far as my second attachment, it's going to be stock. I'm just a guy, and especially a gun like this, this is made for sitting back and strafing left and right and picking people off at a distance. This is a gun where you need to have stock on it. That's why that will come in as my last attachment for this gun now with overkill the, the problem with this setup is with everything I'm running here and we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later I guess we'll go through the perks first because the, you know the perks are uh, the next step in the creative class first perk flak jacket um, I think it's pretty obvious why you're gonna be sitting on head glitches you don't want to get blown up with nades that's something people do I call it the the, the rager naders I kind of just made that up but that's what I've been calling it it's people that you know spawn in with grenades with c4s know where you're at because you keep killing them over and over and they come and they chuck 
chuck all their stuns, all their grenades, everything at you, uh, C4, all that stuff. It happens a lot on Nuketown. You'll see kids just chucking it at that truck uh, sort of on the on the right side here, and um, that's what happens uh, a lot of the time. So that's why I run Flash Jacket as my first one, so those Rager Naders can't get me when I'm camping, posted up with this gun. Second perks, I have two of them. One will be Scavenger because I don't want to run out of ammo on either gun I'm running with Overkill, and then the second one is going to be Fast Hands just so that I can switch between the weapons a lot faster. Um, that's something that definitely helps me having fast hands on allows me to do that YY to switch between my weapons a lot faster and to um, you know if I get surprised up close I can whip out that second weapon now this is where it comes down to it with overkill what are you going to run as your actual second weapon now uh, in this first gameplay I was rocking with the VMP however I wasn't using the exact class I had some different things on the than the ideal class we're talking about today what I decided for my second gun in this ideal class setup would be the CUDA. Now, the reasoning behind this CUDA, uh, you could also go with the Weevil or stuff like that, uh, or the XMC if you do have it. I did want to say XMC probably would be the best if you do have it. However, I know only a minimal amount of players have that, and that's why I chose the CUDA here. Now, the reasoning for that is with the CUDA, it, there's no with this class setup the way it's designed there's no extra slots there's no room for for an extra attachment here or there there's nothing so you're going to have to run the base variant of any gun now the vmp is a great gun vesper great guns the vmp you need a grip on it you need a quick draw like it's one of the slower smgs in the game with no attachments you'll notice that if you do give it a try on this class setup the cuda however still has a fast aim down sight a decent reload that can be sort of the problem little to no recoil so you don't have to worry about not running a grip and that's why i say guns like the cuda the xmc and the weevil are the best for this slot because they're strong smgs but their base variants are probably stronger than the vmp i mean the vmp base variant all it has going for it is that it has 40 bullets uh in every magazine while the um weevil has 50 CUDA has 30 as well as the XMC, so they are at a little bit of a disadvantage. However, the VMP repeatedly through nerfs has gotten its aim down sight slowed down, its recoil increased, and the VMP can be that gun that uh, I think also had the strafing effect in. You guys get the, the gist of it. Even though the VMP is probably the, still the best SMG in the game, you know, along with the XMC, as a base variant, the CUDA is probably better than the VMP. You guys can make that decision for yourselves, but that's where I put that here. Now, that, now that you guys have to class it up, when is this class setup useful? Why would you want to use this class setup? This class setup is useful for a certain thing where you're going to need long range and you're going to need close range. Now, there's a few maps off the top of my head that I can think of and a few game modes. It's especially useful in hardpoint, and the reasoning behind that is because in hardpoint, it's also pretty useful in Dawn, but in hardpoint, you could be the anchor with who would post up, like you know, you know how they would do in BO2 with the FAL, or the FAL. You can post up, anchor the spawns, get the spawns for your team, pick people off with the Shiva, but when it's your turn to, you know, man up, you know, get in there uh, up close and get that scrap time on the hard point, you whip out that secondary, which is kind of a primary also, and you'll be able to do that. That's why I recommend it in hard point as a game. But as far as maps, uh, Fringe, probably the best map for the setup. I mean, everyone knows the long lines of sight and also the close rooms at the A-bomb, uh, you know, around the barn and, and the uh, grandma's building. Uh, everyone knows that. Another one would be uh, Redwood Hardpoint. There's some close areas on Redwood, the, the bunker, the building. Um, those two are off the top would be probably the best ones for it. Infection is another good one. You guys basically get the gist of where I'm going here. You want big maps where you the map that you want is big, but you also want to have that ability to go off in the space spawns on a map like infection it's a big map you need those long lines of sights however you can see especially on that map the spawn traps are real multiple enemies can spawn at you at once and that is when it's very 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 nice to have that side smg uh secondary to be able to do well for you guys and that's what i would say as far as some other tips you can do you want to aim for the head me personally i didn't really aim for the head too much in these gameplays i just like to spray at the body and get those two taps and whenever i could get a lucky headshot or pick people off of head glitches of course that's also what this thing is known for that's why i think it's also very good on fringe one thing about fringe you'll notice is that those trucks in the middle head glitches insane out of this world you can see the tippy top of there you can't even see their hairline it's such a big head glitch also with um some other ones on some different when they're up in the buildings on fringe or in the barn this thing bip one shot they're off that head glitch and that's what it's made for playing two styles picking people off of head glitches and stuff like that so of course if they're on a head glitch 
are you going to aim for their head? Yeah, because that's all you can see. But in normal gunfights, I just aim for the body. If you are very confident in your shot, you can probably aim for the head, get some nice, you know, triple headshot feeds or get some montage clips there. That's what I'll give you guys for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys could drop a like on this thing, I'd really appreciate it. If you guys made it to the end, let's go for 2,000 likes. That would be awesome. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Drop a like on this thing. Subscribe for a cookie. And don't looky. Uh, thank you, everyone, for all the new subscribers and everyone who's been liking the videos. I, I appreciate you all, and I hope you guys all have a great night. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.